Kennesaw State at home versus Florida Gulf Coast, and it was just that close. Five points in the end. Kennesaw State with a chance to take the lead and maybe tie things up, get things a little tighter at the end. They just couldn't quite get it done. Alongside assistant coach Michael Cotton, I'm Brian Katrick. Coach, that was close. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. Just couldn't get, uh, couldn't string enough stops together down the stretch. Um, uh, but we fought back um, after after playing a you know pretty subpar uh, first half defensively. Uh, just couldn't 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 string enough stops together. Now we're going to see these guys again as we take a look at some of the highlights. What is it like when a team like this just so relentless on the rebounding side of things? Yeah, we have to do a better job. We have to do a better job of uh, you know still and being physical inside uh, when a ball is shot, finding a body, putting a body to a body, and then just chasing the basketball. Um, I think our guys are trying, they're fighting. You know, we're, 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 we're not undersized as far as our, our height is concerned, uh, but girth uh, and strength a little bit. Uh, we lose those battles uh, in, the ma in, 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 you know, individual matchups, but uh, we can. What else can you say about Kendrick Ray? Goes over 30 points now for the second time this season. Oh, he's playing awesome. He's playing awesome. He's making shots. He's, he's, uh, he's really attacking the basket more. Uh, and finishing, getting to the free throw line, uh, he had a he had a wonderful uh, offensive output, um, uh, and you know that's that's what kept us in the game, especially in the second half. Getting a lot of good minutes out of Aubrey Williams. How important was he with the with not only the height but also the width that he nah, has? No, no question. He um, like he came in and and and, pr and evened out that matchup some, he evened out that matchup some, um, and rebounded the ball well. Um, again, like the, the the frustrating thing is that we're so close. You know, we played the two, uh, arguably the two best teams in the conference, and played well against each of them. Uh, uh, and we feel like we left some money on the table. Uh, so the good thing is we get a chance to see them again, uh, and hopefully we'll have a different outcome. What do you have to do Saturday against Stetson? Uh, some of the same. Like the sa the game plan is, is is really the same. We got to execute offensively. Uh, you know, get got get to our spots, get get the shots that we want, and then defensively limit them to one shot. Uh, secure the rebound uh, and just understand their principles. All right, and, 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 and try to take them and make them make them go to their secondary and tertiary off, uh, options. Well, we will see that game Saturday at 4:30 p.m. Eastern Time. It'll be on ESPN3, KSUOwls.com. Coach Cotton, we appreciate your time. Best of luck Saturday. Thank you much.